can't decide where you should go for dinner, well, here are 10 of the best outdoor restaurants in San Diego to enjoy the summer and to enjoy all this wonderful weather that we're having. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Jade Lee Duffy, your San Diego realtor. I'm here as a resource to help those in the community and find out what it's like to live in sunny San Diego. So what are the 10 best outdoor restaurants in San Diego? So we're gonna start at the bottom of the county and work our way up in no particular order. So number one on the list is C-180 Coastal Tavern. This is on Imperial Beach. It's practically right on the sand. So you have a beautiful view of the water and beach area. You will definitely get that kind of seaside vacation vibe from here. And some of the standout dishes to try are the smoked crab and swordfish dip, seared tuna salad, or the New York steak with crawfish sauce. That is delicious. Number two on the list is area on Coronado Island. So this is part of Hotel Del Coronado. So it has a little bit of history. Uh, you're right on the beach. It's one of those places where you just sit outside in really comfy seating and you just sit back and relax. Also pro tip for families, there is a grassy area right out front. So you could let your kids run around while you are waiting for your meal. It has fresh seafood and a California coastal inspired cuisine. So some dishes to try are the grilled octopus, local halibut ceviche, blue lump crab cakes and caviar benedict, and Baja Campuchi which is a long, thin yellowtail fish. So it's kind of sashimi and it's sprinkled on top with nuts, lime and cilantro. And so it's one of its most famous dishes. So definitely try that. And just so you know, it on weekdays, it opens at 5 p.m. But on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it's open all day. Moving inland from Coronado Island is number three on the list, Seneca which is in downtown San Diego, very close to San Diego Harbor. So it's actually part of the Intercontinental Hotel. So once you go into the Intercontinental, find the elevator that takes you up to the 19th floor. When you come out of the elevator, there's a bunch of tropical plants and it's a little bit jungly. So it's kind of a sea mermaid, kind of a cross between a Miami Art Deco vibe cross with a kind of sea coastal and mermaid decor. So when you come out, you'll have a glorious view of San Diego Harbor. You can see Coronado Bridge, Point Loma, and it is just a beautiful rooftop restaurant. So definitely try the wood fire prawns if you get a chance. Number four on the list is Portside Pier. So, so this is right on the water and actually Portside Pier com is comprised of four restaurants, Top Sail, Catch Grill and Taps, Brigantine Seafood and Oyster Bar, and Miguel's Cochina. So here you've got a full range of cuisine. So from American seafood and Mexican. And what's great about Brigantine if you sit on the outdoor patio, you have full view of the Star of India, which is a tall ship that was built actually in 1863 and is one of the oldest ships that's still sailing regularly. Going around the harbor is Costera on Harbor Island. So this is a cool hip place right on the water again, and it's modern Mexican cuisine. I recommend to try the ceviche sampler or the aji tuna tostada. They will both knock your socks off. And going around there in the same vicinity, very close by, is Liberty Station. So here there's a dozen restaurants. It's also a public market. There's a hotel and some shops. So you've got a full range of places to go. And some standout places are the Priestley and Stone Brewery, which has a ginormous outdoor seating area. Going inland just a little bit is the Prado at Balboa Park. So it's a beautiful spot with old will charm, kind of has that Spanish feel to it. It's a National Historic Landmark, and it was originally built in 1915 to 1916 to mark the Panama, California Exposition. So here I would definitely try the paella. Moving on to number eight is Buena Forchetta. So this is a really cute neighborhood restaurant, which is Italian. So it has an outdoor sidewalk area, has real wonderful neighborhood feel and there is a huge pizza oven 
that's actually named Sofia. So you can see it on the pizza oven. So they have wonderful Italian cuisine to die for pizzas, homemade egg pasta. Number nine on the list is going up north into San Diego, North County. And this might be a hidden gem for some people along Highland Valley in Escondido. If you drive up the winding road of Highland Valley, you're going to hit about a dozen wineries. And a lot of them actually don't have food. They have nipples that you can buy, but at Cordiano Winery, it's got everything. So it's got a full Italian menu and wonderful wine. And if you don't drink wine, you can definitely order non-alcoholic drinks. So the view is spectacular of the San Pasquale Valley, and you can actually watch the sunset from there. So they have pizza and pastas, and it is just a spectacular venue to take your friends and family or out of town guests. The last one on the list, number 10 is Malfi Cucina Italiana. So this is in San Marcos, right on Lake San Marcos. So it's very pretty around here. It's actually a two story building, but the main restaurant is on the upper floor. So it just looks out onto the lake. It's just so pretty. And here again, it's Italian cuisine. Here I would recommend the burrata bruschetta, calamari salad. And then also after dinner, if you want, you can actually take a gondola ride right on the lake. There you have it. 10 best restaurants across San Diego where you can enjoy outdoor dining. Hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions about San Diego, please don't hesitate to reach out. My number is in the description below and have an awesome summer.